Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, we're out here today on Friday and with a project. And, you know, the missus is working today. She picked up an extra shift and I have some spare time, so I'm going to be working out here a little bit today. Um, we have a dash lamp on the workbench now, and this is the second one I've received this week. Um, this one was very complete, very solid, still is. I just had start disassembling it and um, I removed the globe plate and uh, uh, it doesn't have the Buckeye Dash um, lens on it. It was snapped off at some point and that's how I bought it. Um, I had intentions of using the other one that I do have off of the first one I bought uh, on this because this one is definitely uh, more, uh, well, it's not just complete but it's in very good shape. Um, but I, I, I also like the other one. I fell in love with the other one and just like the way it looked. It came out really good, which I will be doing a video on uh, later um, because it did come out quite well. I've been enjoying it. Um, so shame on me for not doing a, a follow-up video after I started that. I know. <laughs> but anyhow, this thing is really cool. And I've been looking over it. And it actually, come to my surprise, it still has some of the original blue Japaning on it. So I'll try and get that. It's on the back of the reflector. I'll move it around in the light. Maybe you can pick up a little glints of blue with the tin. So there's still tin under there, and that's really amazing to see. But the um, the Japaning was a process uh, to protect the tin metal, and it was a very hardy um, coating that they would put on these things. And I I can't say if they baked it or if it was just kind of a brushed on thing. I forget how Japaning was achieved. Um, and that's more or less a euphemism for uh, the, the um, process that they uh, used to protect these. Instead of paint, it was a, a chemical uh, mixture that they would, um, you know, coat these with. And it would, they would either be like a charcoal or black or, a, um, or blue or even a red. And they, they call it Japaning. And that, that I'm sure there's historical roots to why they called it that. Uh, I'm, maybe the technique came from Japan. Just guessing. But anyhow... I've read a few things about it, and I'm not exactly clear on the whole process, but we shall find out more information. However, Dietz did Japan their um, dash lamps at one time, and this thing is probably around 1900, uh, maybe a little later than that, but not much. Um, I don't think it's earlier uh, than that, but yeah, I've seen in the catalogs uh, online, you know, you'll see the old paper uh, pages for lanterns uh, out of old hardware catalogs, and this is uh, pictured in there with the other Dietz lanterns they offered, and it, it mentioned it was uh, Japan blue or blue, uh, red. So you could get it red or blue Japaning, and um, yeah, that's really neat to see some of the original blue Japan left on there. Uh, it's it's very rare. You don't see that often unless the lantern is in the old stock, and those don't turn up often enough at all because these were used on wagons and stuff and uh, outside a lot. So, but this one is definitely earlier than the other one I have. The first one I bought, um, it has a steel burner cone and a steel burner. And uh, this one has a brass burner and a brass burner cap. So this one would definitely be, I would say, earlier. The other one is later, um, but that's fine. I like it just the same. So I'm gonna be cleaning up this as well as this. And now since I noticed that the, there is still blue Japaning on it, um, I'm gonna go a little less aggressive with my cleaning uh, approaches. I'm going to I'm going to scrub the usual areas, but um, where I see blue japaning, I'm going to go over it lighter and make sure I preserve that. So that'd be good. Anyhow, fun stuff. I'll be doing some other follow-up videos hopefully this weekend if I'm, I don't get too busy. Um, so we'll uh, keep in touch. Okay, everybody. Thanks so much for the new uh, subscribers. I've noticed that I, I gained a few over this week and. Um, Thank you so much. I appreciate your uh, your, your uh, membership to this channel, and I will hopefully deliver with your expectations uh, with lantern and antique material and uh, topics. So thank you so much. Um, I'm over 50 now. Uh, followers, <laughs> subscribers, that is. Um, I'm still in my 40s, but <laughs> anyhow, um, yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. I'm glad I'm making a little bit of a, a mark in uh, in YouTube. Very little, but still a mark. Um, so good stuff. Yeah. So 
keep tuned in and we'll keep having fun with this old rusty stuff. All right, take care everybody. Stay safe and be well. Bye-bye.